everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been a video that has been a long time coming because I have had so many people ask, show us your warmers. We want to see what warmers you have out. So today I'm going to be bringing you along with me on a little winter warmer tour. So I have several warmers and all the warmers that you are going to see are my own personal warmers. They're not for sale or anything like that. These are my personal warmers. So I have a lot of warmers and I tend to rotate them out quite frequently. So I think I may do this pretty regularly to show you like whenever I change out my warmers um, so that you can see kind of seasonally what I'm feeling like having out on display. So we are going to start out downstairs and then we're going to work our way upstairs and you guys will have a chance to see what warmers I have decided to have out on display this winter season. Okay, you guys, so we are going to start out downstairs and as you can see, we're going to start out right at the front door so you can see as soon as you enter in what you're going to see. So right off the front door, uh, just to the left of the front door is a formal sitting room. As you can see, this is where Zoe likes to hang out as you can see. Um, so we're going to kind of start out in here over here. We've got some, some chairs, some like oversized chairs, which I absolutely love. I have gone back and forth on putting a warmer here. Uh, this lamp is actually it usually sits where my Christmas tree is. So, what I've done is actually have a warmer there when the lamp is in the living room. But as for right now, I don't have a warmer there. So let me show you uh, what warmer I do have in this room. Okay, so just off the front door, we have this little table here where I have my amber fluted shade warmer. This warmer is still currently available. I pulled this out during the fall time and I'll leave this out uh, probably until... January, February, probably. And it is on the Trax cord concealing stand. Um, I did a whole video on the cord concealing stands. So definitely check that out. Um, they are amazing, but I'm debating on maybe getting the stencil. I believe it's called the stencil warmer stand. Um, it's more of like a bronzy kind of finish rather than that kind of like gray concrete kind of look. It would complement that warmer a little bit better, but this works. I really like it. So that's what is sitting in this room. As you can see, Miss Zoe here is so excited. <laughs> She's normally sitting on that chair actually, but yeah. So we're going to hop over into the dining room. So over here in the corner of our dining room, we have this regular like floor lamp with little shelves. We've got another one like this in our living room. Absolutely love it. So this, um, this little shelving situation gives me the opportunity to put a warmer here. <laughs> so I have my core warmer here with the piece wrap. This particular warmer is no longer available. It kind of has a like marbling through it. The core warmer that's available now is the etched core warmer, which is still really super pretty with a wrap or without. So yeah, so I really like that. And then looking away from the very same corner, we have our little curio cabinet here. We collect shot glasses. <laughs> so everywhere we go, we collect a shot glass. And on top of that, I have my beautiful cream tulip shade warmer. I scored this during the flash sale for, I think it was 18 bucks. Love that so much. Um, this was a warmer that I had been eyeing for a really long time and just didn't ever act on it. And then it retired and then it came back in a flash sale. <laughs> So I totally jumped on it. So love that so much. I feel like it's just a nice little touch. Um, this is a really, so this is what I'm talking about with our open concept is we have really, really tall ceilings since it is a two story. Um, it's, we've got really, we've got, these are 19 or 20 foot ceilings. So, um, I don't mind having that kind of at a higher elevation, if that makes sense, because, uh, that's going to really like help throw pretty far. So love that. So those are the three warmers that we have in this particular area. Uh, so that one, that's where the uh, amber fluted shade warmer is for that front room up here. <laughs> Zoe, are you playing with your toy? <laughs> um, up on top of our shot glass cabinet, we have the 
cream tulip shade. And then scanning just over here next to the dining room table, we have the core warmer. So this works pretty well for this particular area. I wouldn't mind adding another like one or two warmers, but this does pretty well for this, um, this open area here. So just off of the dining room, we have our downstairs half bath. Hi guys. <laughs> so of course I've got to have a warmer in here. Where's the light switch? Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. So right now I have the frosted flannel mini warmer, which I love. I think what I'm going to do, so you can see that it's got this jeweled snowflake. That's totally cool to keep out absolutely all winter long. Like you don't have to put it away after the holidays. But if you're someone who collects the red and black buffalo plaid and you want to leave it out all year, just turn this baby around. Voila. <laughs> turn that snowflake around and leave it out all year. So now we are just on the other side of the wall that shares with the dining room. So this is obviously our living room. And over here we'll start in the far corner. So this, I actually showed you, showed you guys this, um, this table before we've made some additions. We're actually going to be getting probably like a shelving unit, um, to display these pieces a little bit better, but, um, I've showed you guys these warmers. This is the service and sacrifice warmer that I got, um, to honor my dad. And then over on the other side of the table, we have the Angel Wings warmer. Both of these warmers are still currently available. So we have both of those here and that's next to our couches. And then over on this side, we have the mantle. So on the mantle, we have the warmer of the month going, which I did show you in our cord concealing base video. Uh, this warmer is still currently available as I am recording this. And it is 10% off this month, so definitely snatch that up. Um, and I love that it kind of complements my little reindeer scarf over here. <laughs> so I love the red and black plaid, as you guys have seen. So this was a must-have for me. Then just next to the mantle, we have over here the Wildlife Full-Size Warmer. And this one is still currently available as well. And then over to the other side, we have the diffuser going. So uh, this over here is on the candle flicker mode. Uh, this I really like, but you can have it uh, just on a regular amber glow, a lighter amber glow, or you have 16 different LED colors to choose from, or you can even choose to have it cycle through, which is kind of fun. So this is kind of what it, what we get to look at every single day when we are just relaxing in our living room it's so nice and peaceful and now just off of our living room we have our kitchen so i'm going to show you the two warmers i have sitting on our kitchen so this was a warmer of the month a few years back and i just love this one so much and it's so nice um, in the evening time as you can kind of tell there's little um, snowflakes that project on the backsplash here so i really love that and then as i showed you in our cord concealing stand video, <clears throat> the cord concealing stands are perfect for kitchen setups because um, it's not going to leave you with a mess of cords on the counter, which is really, really nice. So just off to the other side of the sink, and I apologize if you can hear the dishwasher going, <laughs> but um, is the Live Simply Warmer once again with another cord concealing stand. This is the Birchwood cord concealing stand, as I mentioned in that video. Love this so much. And this warmer, obviously you can leave out completely all year. This is not a seasonal warmer, but since I do have several warmers, I do um, change them out periodically. So this one I tend to change out um, with the When Life Gives You Lemons warmer. But as you can see, you can definitely keep this out absolutely all year. So I've got two full-size warmers on my countertops. And then as you saw, in basically the same space, we've got one, two, three, four, four warmers in this area. Is it excessive? Absolutely. But I really enjoy it. I enjoy my home fragrance. I like it nice and strong. So that is the warmer. Those are the warmers that we have 
feature. Okay, so we are going to work our way up the stairs now. And as you can see behind me, I'm just standing at the top of the stairs. So at the very top of the stairs, you can see behind me, this is what we call our like linen cabinet. This is where we keep all of our, um, our towels and our sheets and everything. So I have a warmer displayed out here. So I'm gonna show you that. Then we're gonna hop into the master bedroom, bathroom, go over to the office. Sensi room, laundry room, bathroom. So let's check it out. So this is right outside of our bedroom. So sometimes I'll refer to this as like the landing or right outside of our bedroom. This is what I'm referring to. And during the winter, I have the Christmas glow warmer here, which goes really nicely. We've got some pictures and things here. So it just really lights up this area. And I love at night the pattern that it casts on the wall and surrounding surfaces. Okay, so over into our bedroom, I have one diffuser and one warmer on my side of the bed. This diffuser shade is not actually available. This is, this was a part of an incentive for consultants only. So I earned that and I love it. It's amazing. So for those of you who are my customers, thank you so much for supporting my business. It means the absolute world to me. And just next to that, we have the etched copper element warmer. I had decided to go with a warmer next to the bed that's not glowing since I already have the diffuser going. So that works for us. I really like that. Okay, so now on to the master bathroom. And this is exactly what I was telling you guys I was gonna do. I put my uh, January 2020 warmer of the month in here and I love it. Now I did have a lot of people leave a comment regarding the placement of this, regarding hairspray, makeup, humidity, that sort of thing. And I really appreciate that because I wasn't thinking about like humidity and stuff. Uh, but it's actually going to be okay in here because here's kind of a funny thing. Uh, we don't actually use our shower in our master bathroom. <laughs> Our shower is a one of these like standalone showers, which is fine, but it's all completely wide open. So it gets really cold. <laughs> we don't use our heater, so it gets really, really cold. So my husband and I don't use the shower. We actually use the full bath that's down the hall. <laughs> we don't have kids. We don't have roommates. So, I mean, it's it's fine. You know, we obviously will use the shower if we have people staying with us or anything, you know, and that's fine. But Basically, we just use this bathroom in here to use the toilet, brush our teeth, like get ready in the morning, and that's, it's fine. So this is going to be just fine in here. There's no humidity that happens in this bathroom, so it's going to be just fine. The other thing that I wanted to address is my skewed vision of realizing how bright these warmers glow. <laughs> so I was like, this is a nice soft glow. Well, let me tell you, now that we're using it in our bathroom at night, this warmer lights up this bathroom like crazy. Now it doesn't seem like that because it really is a soft glow during the daytime, but at night when it's pitch black, like this thing puts out some light. So we haven't had any issues, like it's not disturbing my husband's sleep or anything. I can sleep through absolutely anything, so that's not a problem, but um, he's doing okay with it. So we'll take that as a win. I honestly, like I thought this could be an issue with how bright it is, but um, I think the placement of it is just fine. So yeah. This, this is this is great. And honestly, I really like it in the bathroom. I think it just adds like a nice little touch. So I love it in here. So now down the hall and into the office, this is kind of like our overflow room here and um, where I'll do oral upload and everything, but also where we store a lot of things as well. So on the desk here, we have the crystal ice warmer. This is a really pretty warmer. Uh, my husband really loves this. We were actually just talking over the weekend. He's like, I want that downstairs. But as you can see, <laughs> I don't have a lot of real estate downstairs. So I was like, well, tell me which one you want me to switch it out for. But this one um, is going to stay out pretty much all year. So this is not like just a winter warmer, but who knows? We'll see what Sensi comes out with this spring and summer. Who knows? So on the other side of the desk, we have a warmer. Oh, look at how young and cute we were. <laughs> um, we have this warmer that doesn't, we don't actually turn on at all. Uh, but my husband is a huge USC fan. So when that was available, I did get this. 
but now it just is kind of a display piece. So over here, my husband got me some tables to actually like prepare orders and stuff uh, and store my warmers and th that, I, that are not being used and all of that stuff. So that's what these three tables are. Um, so let's kind of talk about some things. So this one, this warmer is no longer available. I love this though. I got this a few years back. I actually got it to bring into the dental office that I was working in. And as soon as I got it, I loved it and I didn't want to share it. <laughs> so I kept it for myself and I have continuously just loved this warmer. So this stays out all the time. Now over here. So this is a obviously you can see this is a warmer display so these warmers I don't actually like keep on all the time but since there are plenty of consultants that actually like to watch uh, I just want to let you guys know this is amazing if you ha have home parties or events or anything this is an amazing um, like display because this you have all kinds of outlets on the front on the back so you can actually display quite a few warmers and it's it's great so I just keep it stored in here but I don't actually I mean sometimes I'll turn on like this middle one but using all of the outlets for this is a little bit excessive I know I'm sure you guys are rolling your eyes you're like everything you do is excessive <laughs> which it is but I don't need to put all of these warmers on including like the one like the one on the desk and then this one over here and then on the other side of this these are some orders that I'm getting ready to deliver some orders here so those are all like this is where I'm like preparing all things and then we have the um warmer that we got in Austin from Scentsy Family Reunion which was awesome so that is the office I know it looks pretty cluttered but this is like I said it's kind of like our our overflow room so that's what we're working with so now we'll just go down the hall into the laundry room and we have the T-Rose Mini Warmer. And this is really beautiful. I don't tend to change this one out. Like I said, who knows what Scentsy's gonna come out with in the spring and summer, but I feel like this is pretty enough to just keep out all year, so, so I do. And this tends to warm uh, or throw in this room just fine. It's a pretty small laundry room, so you don't really need much more than that. And then just across the hall, we have the other full bath. So this is actually the bathroom that we use mostly. <laughs> so I know it's silly, but hey, at least we're utilizing all of our square footage. So in this bathroom, I have the Wildlife Mini Warmer. And this is the outlet that I always tell you guys about. I'm like, if you have outlets that are horizontal rather than vertical, these mini warmers are still gonna work for you because most of my um, outlets, at least, in this bathroom as as well as the master bath um, all of our outlets are horizontal and it still works which is really really nice so now coming out of the bathroom you guys are very familiar with this room <laughs> so here we are so what i will say this is entirely too many warmers to have in one room i'm fully aware of that i've had some people say do you really need that many warmers in that room no this is not a big room but I just to be honest I just like to have it on display like this so and the nice thing is since there are so many warmers in here it actually throws pretty well throughout the entire upstairs so if I don't have the warmers on in the office like this is throwing pretty much all the way to my master bedroom so it's nice so uh, this was also a part of the incentive program so we got a warmer and then we got a diffuser as well. So that is the warmer. And then we have the fly away warmer. And then the champagne warmer. And then I've got one of my diffusers over here. So that's what I have that you guys normally see right behind me. And then recently I decided to add a few pops of light over here. So um, here we go. So we have this warmer here. I think this one's called Dream Sparkle, I believe. And then over here we have the Make a Scene warmer. And I've talked about this one in a previous video. This one I actually, uh, these are seashells 
from when we were in Anaheim for um, Sensi Family Reunion. So that was fun. And then back up here, got that gorgeous piece. Oh, I love it so much. That was the January warmer of the month from last year. So that's what I have going on. So there you have it, you guys. That is my winter warmer tour. I'm gonna plan to do an update warmer tour per season, pretty much. I think these warmers that I have out right now are gonna stay put until probably late January into February, depending on what Sunsy comes out with. So as I start to put away my winter warmers and take out some of the spring warmers, I'll take you guys on another tour if you find that this was entertaining. I know a lot of people are like, we wanna see what you have out. Is it excessive? Absolutely. I am obsessed though. I love them. It's so much more than just the home fragrance. It's the home decor of it. I just love how beautiful these pieces are and they make me really happy. So that's why I have so many of them and it doesn't help that I like my scent really strong. So having more of them <laughs> helps my house smell absolutely amazing. So let me guys, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, if you found this entertaining, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you like to see more videos like this, let me know and I'll be sure to keep up with giving you guys a little tour. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.